Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And the fire season is going to kick off here in Montana fairly soon. We have had a lot of rain. That means a lot more green, a lot more grass, a lot more uh, basically material to burn later in the year. So sometimes the early rain or the late rains push our fire season off into the later months of the year. Anyway, going to... Uh, um, any kind of a fire situation or even just generally landscaping that's a defensive um, preservation of land around your 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 property um, kind of that what we call defensible space you've got to have that if you live in the kind of the urban fire interface um, it involves using a tool called a Pulaski this is a Barco FSS or Forest Service Supply Pulaski this was kind of my go-to but this I need to work on this handle it's it's just been abused. It's been, you know, left in water, kind of a mess. What I've done is I bought a brand new Warwood tool made in USA, USA uh, labor, USA steel, USA hickory on this beautiful 36 inch Pulaski with a three and three quarter standard for a service head. Now Pulaski, um, General Pulaski was actually the guy who pretty much refined this shape. Obviously, the, a similar shape has been around for a long time, um, but he really brought it into the United, United States Forest Service fold. If you want to read about something like this, I highly recommend The Big Burn. Um, this book by Timothy Egan really outlines you know, uh, how we ended up with so much public land, why that's a good thing, how we could have lost it all to... Um, to industry where we wouldn't have the, the hunting and fishing that we do, but also the issue with fire. And Pulaski played a role in that. Uh, beautiful story about him saving people's lives and then later on refining this tool. He didn't patent this, unfortunately. Um, of course, it does carry his name. He didn't patent it primarily because the paperwork started to get a little crazy and he gave up. He was getting old. But anyway, this is a Pulaski. And this is my new one because I need to do a bunch of service work on this old one here and I need to um, update and have an extra one on hand compared to my really old one. So um, in order to understand the Pulaski, so first of all, there are lots of companies that make it. Warwood Tool, I wanted to try them out. They're out of West Virginia since 1854. That's pre-Civil War. They've been making USA made tools with USA made labor and USA made steel. There are a couple of other companies that produce Pulaski's that are pretty common, um, including Council Tool um, and Collins and a few others. This is my Barco here. This is a FSS, is Forest Service Supply. This is a USA made one. The problem with this one is it just needs some TLC. It has been soaked in water, it's been left out. Um, but this is a traditional Pulaski. It's actually forged in this shape with the axe head and the mattock back here. Um, this is a very specific design. There are lots of others. Um, for example here, this one is a, I would call it more of a, an inexpensive gardening Pulaski. Uh, this one has a much smaller head on the front end. It's, you know, you can see that compared to compared to this one. And they used a twisted uh, technique where they just heat the metal and then just twist the back end. And it also is much smaller, as you can see, if I compare, compare it to this. Oops, it's stuck to my magnet. Hang on here. Wow, Ugh, there we go. <laughs> Crazy. But anyways, you can see um, considerably less meat on the on the big end here. But anyway, let's get to it. What this is, is a Warwood tool, and Warwood uh, was founded by an immigrant who worked a lot in the coal industry and mining, etc., and then started making these handmade gardening tools. So it's, it's a full-on American company. It's a private company, family-owned, just beautiful finish for a Pulaski. I'm going to actually tighten this up just a little bit, but it's it's plenty good, better than most. Um, nice thick steel here. Uh, the way they've cut this, solid design. I have had this other one here 
for years. I have used it, this Forest Service one, forever. Um, and this one, it's got a loose head. I just need to work on it. But you need more than one, unless you're the only person who's going to do the work. And so that's why I decided to take a look at some uh, new ones and settled on this Warwood tool. Um, they're about a hundred bucks. Um, if you want to spend a couple more, like literally two more dollars, you can get the safety handle, which has this orange paint, heavy orange paint with kind of a really textured sandy grip um, on it. I'm going to try that. Of course, I can always take it off if I don't, but I think that's probably pretty good because when you're getting sweaty and if you're working in the rain or water, um, you know, that, that can make a big difference. Standard Pulaski, as I mentioned, three and three quarter pound head on a 36 inch handle. That's a standard design for a service design. And um, the, the blade from end to end is about 13 inches. So there are some standards there. Good solid American hickory wood. And as you can see with these others, there are variations on a theme. But if you don't have one of these, and I'm not sponsored by Warwood, they didn't send me this, send me this. I bought it on my own um, because I want, I, I looked around, I wanted another one and settled on this, thought I'd try it out. I'll put a link below, um, you know, you can decide, you know, if you need a Pulaski and then which direction to go. To get a good one, you're going to be pushing around $100, and there are plenty that are well over $100, too. So this is not, an, not what I would consider a Gucci one, an expensive one. It's a good quality one. Um, you can get them for a little less, a little cruder, a little simpler. Um, and then the Forest Service Supply ones, the ones uh, that, that you can pick up, that is kind of a nice badge of honor. You know, it is an official Forest Service one, but that's also a lowest bidder thing, too. So anyway... Here it is for this summer. It would be great if I never had to use it, but I have a feeling I will because that's that's where our, uh, our fire season is headed at the moment. And with that, Doc out.